So sometimes I'm tired and make mistakes. And um, then I just put this in my calculator, which I'm actually going to do. <coughs> If I can't figure out where I put my calculator. <coughs> uh, five times 190. One, two, three, four, five. Five, zero. One and a half minutes. 190 squared. Wow, that's a lot of salt. No, one and a half minutes. I've been multiplying it for at least two, 90 minutes. Wow, that's a lot of salt. <laughs> well, I don't know, because we're gaining a gallon a minute, right? So we have 190 pounds, uh, 190 gallons of water with almost 800 pounds. <laughs> More than 800 pounds. That doesn't seem right. Is there a maximum capacity Oh, it's 290. Because, oh, no, no, it's 190. Mm. Well, I messed up. You're adding a gallon of water. I understand. I'm just saying that. Yeah, here's, here's my like, mental process that I think this is, what I th this is why I think I may have made a mistake. The amount of salt coming in is 5 pounds per gallon. So this should be close to 5 to 1. So it's 190 times 5. Oh, 950. Okay, we're okay. Does it, do you understand what I'm saying? If the time goes a long time, then the amount of salt in the tank per gallon should be almost exactly the same thing as the amount of salt coming into the tank. Yes. Who understands? Who's lost? Someone who's giving me a look. Okay. Follow, riddle me this. If I have pure water and I'm dumping in two pounds of salt <coughs> per gallon, eventually I'm going to get rid of all the pure water and have just about two pounds of salt per gallon. Does that make sense? After a long time? Mm -hmm. So one, one and a half hours is a long time. It's not like so long that it's exactly the same, but it should be getting close to that. It shouldn't go more than that. Is that okay? I just said how much water is in there? 190 gallons. How many uh, how many gallons? I mean, how many pounds per gallon is coming in? Five, five times 190 is 150. We're less than that, so it should be okay. All right. Um, this is great. We have one half hour left to do anything I think you need to do, and I think we need to spend time telling the difference between 10-1, 10-2. Separating, separal integration, and integrating factor. Money. money. Oh, I forgot a money. I'm sorry. Money, money, money. You guys know who Kika is? Is Kika here today? No Kika? Oh. I adore Kika. Okay. Um I use some of our people's from the class's names without their permission in the story problems, so hopefully they don't sue me for, what, two cents or something? Um, I used Graydon. Do you know Graydon? Where's Graydon? Graydon, Graydon, Graydon. He's probably trying to hide now. He's turning red. It's great. Uh, <laughs> Graydon is the most fun to tease yeah. because you don't even have to do anything embarrassing. Like, you don't have to say anything embarrassing. Keep turns that red. Not in front of 300 people. <laughs> <laughs> no, you told me specific things I wasn't allowed to say in front of 300 people. You didn't say I wasn't allowed to tease you. Okay. <laughs> okay, I won't tease you. Thanks, Michelle. You're welcome. Um, give me a name. Any name. Fred. Michelle. Rocky. Michelle. I like me. <laughs> Michelle. Um, invest in. Uh, give me a number. One thousand to ten thousand. Five thousand. Use their name or something. Did everyone get the roll? Did anyone not get the roll? 
Um, just make sure you sign it before you leave. It's up here. Okay? <laughs> Michelle? How do you spell deposits? <laughs> Can I not spell? No E. No E? <laughs> That's okay. You know Albert Einstein couldn't spell his own name? <laughs> yeah, you're wrong biology. I am very good at biology and I'm very good at math. I'm terrible at spelling. They actually almost didn't let me graduate from high school. It cost me $2,000 and earned. I couldn't pass the stupid spelling competency test. I took it over 20 times and finally my principal took pity on me and said, here's the dictionary and the thesaurus. If you can figure it out with those, I'll let you walk. <laughs> I was like, for the love. <laughs> Michelle, I missed 5,000 and two wow. continuously compound account. If Michelle makes the early deposit of 2,000 and earns 5% uh, interest. Uh, how long? Four. She earns uh, ten thousand. So I'm not gonna spell it. It's not exactly a secret. Are you okay so far? Hopefully, it makes me more personable. I don't know if it does, but. I need A, D, R, P, T. I need all of those except for one. It doesn't matter which one they don't give me. They just gotta give me one. Um, a is, um, we want to earn 10,000. D is 2,000. R is 0 0.05. P is 5,000. B to the point zero five T minus uh, two thousand over point zero five. We wake up. I know, I know. Okay. So now I use my handy dandy calculator. Now I know you guys don't like that they give you crappy calculators, but you're the only math class in the entire university that gets any calculator. Oh. 110 doesn't get a calculator, 112, 113, 313, 302, 303, 304, 304, 304, Okay. That's positive. One, two, three, four. Okay. All I'm doing is I'm making the equation a little bit easier to handle. I'm not great at fractions. And then I'm gonna put this on the other side. Add the 40,000 to the other side so that I get 50,000. And this is, oh, uh, uh, this is 45,000, right? No, yes, no. So are we okay so far? I'm going to divide by both sides by 45,000. So then 50 would be 10. 10 ninths is equal to e to the point zero five t. Take the ln of both sides. So then I'm having ln of 10 ninths equals 0 0.05t. Everyone follow this step? We're doing good. We're making good time. I'm excited to eat some dinner. Maybe get some sleep tonight. 
I'm going to divide by 0 0.05. So T is equal to what? Did I do too many steps? Great. I'm just going to put that in my calculator. Clear. Ellen, 10 minus divided by 0 0.05. 2.107 years. How many of you struggle with E's and LN's? How many of you feel like you could just plug a number in for T with all this other stuff there? And whichever number, like whichever T you plug in that comes closer out, closest to this, is the right one? Ooh. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. It's multiple choice, right? So A, B, C, D, they'll have numbers like. One, two, ten, hundred, things like that, right? Pick a number in the middle of their answer. So if they had like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plug in five. If I plug five in, right, I'm going to get a number way bigger than ten thousand. So I need to plug in something smaller than five. So plug in three. It's still just a little bit bigger than ten thousand. So plug in two. They'll come out really, really close to ten thousand. And if it's really close, I plug in the one just below it or just above it, depending on which way it is. So I would plug in like two or three or something like that. You know, like one or three on the other side and just check which one's closest. Whichever number you plug in and gets closest to this this number that you want to earn, that's the right answer. You can handle that, right? Yes. No, I gave you a formula. You're welcome. Okay, let's do some more stuff. It's true, right? I just did the calculus for you. 